the stems of monocot and dicot plants also differ from each other. Can this thin, stick-shaped structure be that different between the two plants? Let's learn exactly how they differ taking the transverse section of the stem of a dicot plant, the sunflower. Helianthus annuus is the scientific name of the sunflower, which is a dicot plant. Let us have a look at the transverse section of the stem. The section shows a highly organized tissue system. The anatomical structure of the young stem of a sunflower shows the following tissue systems. The outer surface of these cells is covered by a cuticle. The epidermis of the stem is single-layered and parenchymatous. The epidermis has several multicellular hairs called trichomes. A few layers of the collenchymatous cells form hypodermis, that is the outer cortex beneath the epidermis. The hypodermis is followed by a multi-layered parenchymatous inner cortex, characterized by distinct intercellular spaces. The cortex shows the presence of a number of raisin ducts, each of which is surrounded by small raisin-secreting glandular cells. The endodermis is the innermost layer of the cortex and is formed of a single layer of parenchymatous cells which contain starch grains and therefore is also known as a starch sheath. The endodermis encloses the steel. A few outer layers of the steel, called pericycle, are made up of alternately arranged masses of parenchyma and sclerenchyma. The parenchymatous region, encircled by vascular bundles, occupies a larger central area and is known as the pith. The parenchymatous cells connecting the pith and the parenchymatous pericycle form the medullary rays which radiate between the vascular bundles. In each vascular bundle, the xylem and the phloem tissues are located on the same radius and hence the bundle is described as conjoint. The phloem being located on only one side of the xylem, the vascular bundle is described as collateral. The xylem and the phloem being separated by cambium, a lateral meristem, the vascular bundle is described as open. The protoxylem lies on the inner side towards the pith and the metaxylem lies towards the periphery. Hence the xylem is described as endarch. To summarize, the section of a dicot stem shows a highly organized tissue system. Epidermis of the stem is single-layered and possesses trichomes. Below the epidermis is the hypodermis, then the cortex which shows raisin ducts. Below the hypodermis lies the endodermis or starch sheath. The endodermis encloses the steel and its outer layers are called the pericycle. The central area of the steel Below the vascular bundles is the pith. Parenchymatous cells connect the pith and the parenchymatous pericycle. The vascular bundle in the dicot stem is conjoint, collateral and open. While monocot and dicot stems may have many similar layers, they have differences as well. Observe the internal structure of a monocot stem to know more about the differences and stay tuned.